I think I've just about finished then, Tony. That looks Look. very good, Margot. Yep. Hello. Welcome to another Heartbeat. And as you can see from the pictures we've been putting up, today is all about the East. But before we concentrate on the East, I want you to have a quick look at this. Coats of arms of British families, and they show birds here and animals and fabulous beasts. Well, that is British heraldry. Let's go back to the East. Now, these are Japanese, and the first thing you'll notice is that they only depict leaves and flower forms. And they wear them on their kimonos, and they're called mons. Let's look at that in more detail. I've divided that into three units, the leaf pattern, so that you can see how it goes together. And they go within this circle, which most of those patterns do, because they look, look so nice that way on a kimono. And there it is. Now, shall we just look at the mathematics of that, which is really quite simple. A circle has 360 degrees, so there are three units to go in. 360 divided by 3 is 120, 120 degrees. Let's do a more complicated one, which has five units. And so we look at the sum again. 360 divided by 5, that is 72, 72 degrees there, that triangle shape. So, away with that, and ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, that isn't meant to look like that at all, but it's rather fun. Hello! We'll take those apart and make up the real mon. Five units. One, two, three, four, and five. Right, final one in, good. And the rest of them go into place around there. When I was looking at this, I realised that although this is Japanese, it is not unlike one of the heraldic flowers that we have in our country. But there it is. And I think rather attractive. Hope you do. selection, Tony. They're so colourful, these ones, aren't they? Yes, they are. I always think that the East conjures up so many pictures for everybody, it don't you? It does, yes, definitely. Mm. We thought it would be interesting to see if the children in this country had the same sort of idea about the East as the children who actually lived there. And so we went to two different schools to find out. <laughs> This is Homer Green Middle School, Margot, in Buckinghamshire. It's the rising sun, Tony. It is indeed, of Japan. And this is the Japanese school at Acton in London. Talk to use an oriental brush like that, Margot. Yes, held very upright. They do. Yes. Look at this one, it's so neat. It's been filled in absolutely beautifully. That's so typically Japanese. And of course, it's a kimono. Lovely pattern. Mm. Gosh, she's doing very well. 
Oh, look, a pagoda. Is it a pagoda? Yes. Yes, you can just see the shape of the roof there. It's certainly a pagoda. Back to Buckinghamshire. That looks like the PVA adhesive. It is. Oh, yes, like a collage. That, those greens work well, don't they, for mm. the leaves? load of stuff. Alison would adore that. Oh, that's what that elephant had on its back, the halo. Yes. Gosh, look oh. at that Looks like a lot of fun, all those materials. I look a bit of sewing in here as well. It's interesting, the Western school do completely different type of work, don't they? Yes, if you look for it, and yet, you know, East is East and West is West, but where children are concerned, there's a great deal that is just the same. Yes, I think you're right. There's that outline, the linear bits that you were talking about. <laughs> See what he's using? Well, it looks like a pen, but it isn't, is it? It's a piece of stick. Fascinating to draw with, with ink or paint. Ink is better, really, the stick. There's different sizes of oriental brush. Now, I like this one. This is very well drawn, isn't it? And being yeah. filled in again so neatly. Have you noticed that the children from both the East and the West often draw noses in the same way? <laughs> So, we've seen all the children at work, and now let's see their work in the gallery. The first thing I notice about this one, Margot, is the tiny little Japanese feet. So oriental. I think, too, the colour is wonderful, and there must be something very exciting going on here, a carnival of some sort. I don't quite know what's happening in that, um, that arena. It looks as though there's some gong banging going on, and there are lanterns and fireworks, and in all, very Eastern. Rising sun. Yes, I recognise that don't one from the film, yes. Extraordinarily well here, haven't they? Yeah. And so they should, as it came from the east. Chinese lanterns and the delightful little characters. Yes, I like the little character at the front. There's our elephant. It's all so much bigger than I thought. All these young people getting together to make that. Mount Fuji, it has to be. And the very strong lines on this one, very yes. Japanese style of work. Ballerina Tony? Of course, she's Russian. Yes. From the Eastern Bloc, no doubt. I like this one because the kimono is terribly well drawn. It sits on the shoulders exactly as a kimono sits. Which... Well, they've seen enough of yes, them. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I find this interesting. They've obviously researched what the Japanese wear, but it is very obviously a Western picture, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. And if you'd like our address, here it is. Heartbeat, BBC Television, London, W36XZ.